Welcome back everybody and we have just located some very sleepy cats although they are actually more awake than what I gave them credit for so there's a few vultures around we've got some hooded vultures over to the right in the tree waiting for the lions to move far enough away from the carcass that they're not going to be taken out themselves if they try and go and feed Uh, another vulture coming in. So the vultures that are circling are going to be watching out for the vultures in the tree. The buffalo is actually, it's, it's quite open even though they've got it into a bush. They are going to be watching. Yeah, there's a few more vultures up ahead as well. So this is going to be Vulture City. Probably by tomorrow. And they can be patient. They will wait. And they will wait for a few days if they have to, to get at that carcass. So we've got one, two, three, still four lionesses. Trying to do a head count. Oh yes, and the, the so the female that we're on now is the one with the wound, I believe. Now, I think some people were saying it looks slightly larger, and it's possible that she actually joined in the hunt, and possibly just tore it a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Now I believe they did have slightly bloody faces this morning, but obviously they've had a good wash. Yeah, definitely read all, look at those tummies. Oh, we're going to have another little go at the buffalo. They are very happy cats now, I think. So they were looking on the thin side, but now they do have a little bit of a belly on them. Not as big as what it can be. Yeah, I'm gonna go and have another another go at that. I can. So I did as the wind turned. I did have a bit of a whiff of it. Whoa, it was uh, smelling a little bit ripe. <laughs> not sure I'd want to have a meat like that, but <laughs> I'm not a lion, thankfully. But they will feed on this carcass for the next few days now. can see unfortunately that is the easiest access where the soft tissue is so it's around the anus I believe they have eaten some around the throat as well it looks like they might have opened up the stomach if that's where the cub is starting to feed from or well, maybe it's just wishful thinking <laughs> So we've got five cubs and one, two, three, four, five lionesses. So I think actually that's everybody, isn't it? So it sounds like everybody is here. So perhaps my tracks this morning were that of a male rather than the female. I'm just wondering, maybe if we pull forward a little bit, we might be able to see the cub. Because it looks like they have opened up that belly a little bit more. I'm just going to turn the vehicle on. Sometimes just messing with the keys just warns the animals 
that something's about to happen because sometimes if if it's very quiet and then all of a sudden turn on they can all get a bit of a jump so yeah everybody's happy good good <laughs> oh another cub moving bless you <laughs>